Welcome to clickmyproject.com Yeah, let us discuss about a, a novel design for circular patch factor and now for multiband applications. So here we are using the modified title is multiband circular patch factor antenna. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So here the micro strip antenna basically consists of radiating patch on one side of dielectric substrate which has a ground plane on the other side. So the patch is generally made of conducting material such as a copper and gold. So the patch is very thin. The different radiating patches may be square, rectangular, thin strip, circular, elliptical, triangle or any other configuration. So there are different types of patches will be shooted. So the radiating elements and field lines are usually photo etched on the dielectric substrate. A micro strip patch antenna is a low profile antenna. It has a number of advantages over the other antennas. So in this our proposed work, our novel design fractal antenna design for a circular patch antenna. A circular patch antenna is used to operate at six different frequencies at 10 point so 10.3 jads, 16.7 jads, 21.7 jads, 25.1, 43.5 and 43.9. So these are the different six different frequencies on the circular patch antenna. The factual design technique is used because of its self-similar and space building property. So the area of the proposed antenna is to be reduced by using the circular patch of the antenna. So here we using the substrate is Rogers RT Duride 5880. The dimension is 1.9 1.92 cm square. So the dielectric constant of the substrate is 2.2. Uh, finally, we calculating the radiation pattern, directivity, return loss, VS Jambler and bandwidth of the circular patch antenna are calculated by using the HFSS version 13. So HFSS is the high frequency structure simulator software by using the antenna design. Yeah, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. So this is uh, generating the 3D structure. So first of all, we will open the HFS software by using the 3D structure. And then here we are using the solution type. So solution type is a uh, driven terminal and uh, driven model. So here we are using the driven terminal of the software. And a parametric model. So parametric model is a patch model. So here we are using the boundaries and excitations of the plot. So boundaries in the, here we are uh, using the perfect P. So that is a perfect electric field and the excitation here we are using the two excitation types one is wave port another one is a lump port so finally calculating the analysis setup in this analysis setup we mentioned the frequencies but for particular frequency whatever frequency we use you need so we calculating the particular frequencies of the antenna and then the result of the section whatever it may be the result will be calculated by using this oral antennas so here we are using the parametric model like the sandwich model so that is view by so this is the sandwich model of the process so substrate in the middle layer and the ground plane is the bottom layer and the patch it will be the top layer so this is the sandwich model of the antenna process so this is the radiation pass uh, because here we are using the circular patch of the antenna so the substrate is uh, calculating the substrate of the antenna and then ground plane and then radiating patch of the calculator by using the radiation patch of the antenna and then uh, it will be calculator so the micro strip patch antenna the ground plane will be calculator so so this is the antenna design here we are using a zeroth iteration first iteration second iteration and third iteration here we are using the circular patch of the antenna different iteration are will be calculated so finally getting the results so what it be, it whatever it may be calculated the radiation pattern return loss bswr bandwidth uh, these are the calculation of the particular radiation of the antenna so the boundaries will be applied to the two types of antennas one is the patch antenna and then ground plan so perfect team must be apply to the uh, patch and the ground and then excitation so excitation is must be calculated as a feeding part of the ground so here we using a micro strip line feed and then excitation will be applied the uh, i mean like that uh, uh, way port of the design and then analysis setup so the analysis setup will calculate a start and stop frequency and then i'll show calculating the center frequency of the process and then result of the structure so result of the structure already i told that return loss radiation pattern like that so 3d or 2d so mostly the process will be mentioned in the 3d of the process so these are the overall flow diagram of the hajabasa design yeah let us discuss about the running procedure for the project process so this uh, antenna design that is a circular factual patch and now i will be designed in the antenna window design so here the boundaries are perfect t1 so that should be placed in the patch antenna and then perfect d2 it should be calculated as a ground and then radiation pattern is calculated for the vacuum and then here the substrate will be used as roges so this is the substrate of the antenna so here we are using the uh, this box is considered as a substrate and then circle so, so this is the patch and then ground so wave circle is a wave port will be assumption here we are using the wave port that is a 
microstrip line feeding. So and then uh, calculating the setup analysis setup. Here we are using the start and stop frequencies 1 and 50. So and then setup. So setup we are using the 8.5 GHz for the frequency range. And then finally we get rid the analysis setup of the validation checkbox. So that are uh, design settings, 3D model boundaries and excitation, measure operation, analysis setup, optometrics and then radiation. So these are the validation check by closing the process. And then finally calculating the analysis all the process. So this is the run process. Run button to click the analysis process. Finally calculating the results. So here we are using the results of the written loss BSWR bandwidth 2D radiation and 3D radiation plot. So these are the different types of results calculating. First of all calculating the radiation so written loss. Here we are using the different types of written loss get in and then calculating the BSWR. So this graph will be BSWR and then 3D polar plot. So this is a 3D polar plot achieving up to 180 degrees. So uh, the red is indicating the highest gain in the process and then this is the 2D radiation pattern. So 3D radiation pattern. So 3 it should be calculating as a 3. So 5.8749 will be calculated at 8.5 yards. So finally these are the running procedure of the process. Thank you for listening this video.